Hello everyone, this is Chandni. Welcome to Let the Chan Chan and welcome back to A Lot of You. So today's video is going to be a very special one now because uh, it is more like a heart to heart, like a real talk video where I'll be talking about my experience of my first ever solo trip. It still feels so surreal when I actually even say it. I recently put up a poll on Instagram asking you guys to vote if you want to see a video like this i was so happy that so many of you were actually interested to know about my experience of a solo trip let's not waste any more time and get into the video so even before i started my channel or even the blog on instagram i always love traveling except the packing and unpacking part i think if someone can pack and unpack for me it'll be great so that is one thing i don't like about traveling but otherwise i absolutely love every bit of it all the experiences that you have the people you meet the people you travel with is so important you get to know about each other so much even if you're a person who i think does not really enjoy traveling i think you should do it once in a while at least so i recommend uh traveling to each one of you out there each time i go to a different place i always realize how much i love traveling more so 2019 has basically been a changing year for me a year where a lot of changes happened emotionally mentally physically so all the experiences that i've had all the things that have changed in my life has made me take a step towards uh, mindfulness, towards a little bit of spirituality, a little bit of reading, bringing a little bit of discipline into your life and how important it is. Although I'm still trying, I'm not there, but I think that is what I aim to do. I always want to have my day planned and see what happens and always look forward to doing new things. And initially, I was this kind of person who always wanted to have company around me. I was terrified of just being alone, you know, having, having lunch alone or going to the movie alone or uh, doing anything alone. So before the solo trips, I have done a lot of things single-handedly. So I just wanted to have a life where I will be content by myself, like all by myself. I don't need anybody to be always there. Like, you know, in life, you will actually face a lot of instances where you have to do things alone. Uh, face things alone and you should be ready you should you know prepare yourselves for those kind of things i think that is what i wanted to consciously work on i just started from doing simple things like going to the movie alone bring popcorn for myself even getting uh, lunch for myself going to restaurants alone going shopping alone or going to just a market alone so that makes you realize what you like about yourself and you will be okay by yourself so after that i thought you you know, I should actually even travel alone. So I had been planning my solo trip from quite some time and I really wanted to go for it because it's something that I wanted to experience even if, if it meant for a day or two but I really wanted to take a trip somewhere where I could actually be on my own and travel by myself obviously if you are doing something like that it comes with a lot of risks it comes with a lot of pros and cons I had challenges too it's not easy for all of us out there to actually go convince our parents but luckily for me I have the world's best parents in my life so one of the biggest challenges was actually convincing my parents to get let me go on the solo trip and when I told them the instant reaction was that they were concerned about my safety of course and how will I manage everything on my own and things like that. My parents are and have always been supportive whatever I did and uh, somehow I convinced them made them realize that you know sometime people have to go out explore things and that is when you get to learn a lot of things and that's one of the common mistakes mistakes that we all do we do not have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with our parents we are always scared as to what will they say and probably they just say no and, uh, i think it's always important to somewhere you know make them also realize what your point is uh, in a nice way tell them make them understand and make them realize how important it is for you then you sound sure and you sound confident i think 
any parent will let you do whatever you feel like anyway that was the challenge about uh, convincing parents so after the parents part i had the biggest question in my head was where to go basically i wanted to go to a place where it is not very different from bangalore i chose mysore ultimately because of a lot of reasons one reason was that it was not a regionally culturally or language wise there were no barriers as such because i did not want to go to a place where you know everything is like completely different you know all at once i go to some place where i do i don't know what it looks like and feels like i have been to myself before so uh, also i have an idea of how the city looks and etc and the second thing was uh, mysore is very close to bangalore it's just 150 kilometers i always had it in the back of my head running that you know if anything wrong happens i can always you know get back to bangalore or something so I know it sounds silly but yeah those were the kind of thoughts I had real dog guys so after I planned the place I wanted to plan uh, how do I go about it transport accommodation what all I'm gonna do oh by the way if you want like a detailed explanation of how I planned the Mysore trip and how much it costed me then the link is here so that's the video about how I managed to go to Mysore in just 3,000 rupees for two nights and three days so Please go check that out. Moving on, when I was booking, this thought just crossed my mind that you know why not make it also like a budget trip. So that is how I planned my train tickets and my accommodation. Everything was booked. It's very important, guys, that you do a little bit of research about the place you're going to. No matter what, even if it's like a one day trip or even if you're going for a few hours, it's better that you know about the place you're going to. You are not aware of what is happening in the area. My suggestion is that you do a good amount of research before you actually get into the place this is what I always do like a solo trip or not I always look into the details of the place where I'm going where it's located what kind of temperature if is the weather okay or what kind of clothes I should carry because you need to plan all of those things to actually pack your suitcase or your bag I think it's very important for you to know the weather conditions the political conditions uh, whether it's a holiday you're going in uh, what kind of uh, food is available a lot of things like that. There are a list of things that I can actually research upon before you get to the place. So the interesting thing is that so I got uh, comments or uh, DMs from a few people uh, who asked me that okay uh, so when I put up pictures of my soul on my social media uh, people asked me you are telling that you went on a solo trip but how come you have pictures of your own and all that. I was just a little taken aback even when you are on a solo trip one needs to understand that you are not going to a place which is deserted you are going to a place where people are there right usually in touristy places you always have a lot of people around and i ask people to click my pictures because it is a little awkward i understand but you have no other option and also you can use your tripod uh, to click pictures i have the remote for my camera so i can always you know put a tripod and you know click my own pictures so that's what you need to do a little patience and a little uh, determination to, to take good pictures i think your result will be really good you can do it guys you have timers you have tripods you have remotes you have people so clicking pictures is not a big deal at all although someone taking your videos is a little tricky another thing was that when i was packing when i was packing my bag i was very determined that it had to be a light bag uh, i was very adamant and told myself that no uh you will have to carry only what is really required all i had with me was a backpack and a camera bag because camera bag is important guys uh, that had all my camera my equipment and everything so there are also a few things that you really will have to pack when it comes to even generally traveling and especially when you're solo traveling i think you will definitely need these kind of things you need a torch you need uh, safety pins a few sharp objects would do like a blade I, I also had a blade i had pepper spray i had an extra phone with me uh, i had another number so that in case my phone dies or anything happens i usually vlog on my phone so i had an extra phone power bank chargers your uh, all these things are very important very 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 important crucial things that you should definitely have in your bag medicines are always very important can't be sure that you'll have access to medical stores all the time so it's better that you carry your own medicines moving on i must admit i was also a little like that 
tad bit scared. So the first ever experience in Mysore was so challenging. Uh, I'll tell you more about it in my uh, Mysore vlog, which will come up this Saturday. So what I usually used to do for two days, I was there completely, and uh, the whole two days. I made sure that you know I was aware of my surroundings. So uh, that's the thing about solo traveling. Uh, I think you need to be aware of your surroundings, cautious of what you're doing, the step you're taking. Uh, look around you if someone's watching you. You know these things are actually real. We might actually think and neglect it, thinking uh, what will even happen. But a lot of things can happen. It's just not for girls. It's for guys. It's for everybody out there. So all we need to do is take the necessary steps uh, so that you know we do not uh, lose track uh, because we have gone there for a vacation. Why ruin it? Because we're not aware. During the trip, I experienced a lot of good things, bad things. There were times when I actually got scared. There were times when I actually uh, was very happy, felt very content, looking at the nature, experiencing it. Uh, riding my Honda Navi, <laughs> that was I think the best thing. It was my friend for like two, uh, three days, and it was amazing riding all by myself, going to places, exploring. Uh, although I just made sure of one thing that uh, I got home before my battery died, before my power bank died. You know, because Mysore is not like Bangalore, and there's no nightlife as such there, and everything shuts down. Um, before like eight nine o'clock, uh, unless it's like a Sunday, I think uh, you have it for a longer period of time. But nothing more than I think nine o'clock. So I did not want to uh, stay late at night. I wanted to take a risk, but to just the extent that I can handle. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm safe. If at all you have to have dinner, also there is also tomato and spaghetti in my sort. There were times when I used to be like, okay, I wish there was someone around there who could actually help me or talk to someone to talk to and all that what i uh, usually did on that trip was that i spoke to the uh, people who actually work there or get some information from them or uh, even like the watchman over there or the uh, ticket counter guy over there because they usually have a lot to talk about the place the vibe and everything the tourists how people come in and go i think it's okay to strike a conversation with people sometimes that's what you mean by meeting new people uh, and striking conversation and also when you're traveling on the train i met like a family I, I spoke to them it was very good like actually interacting with people so overall uh, my experience of this solo trip was very good. It was uh, one of the best things that I did this year, I think. Um, it was very, 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 very challenging. At the same time, it was very, uh, it's like an experience I'll never forget kind of a thing. Uh, your first solo trip, you will never forget. And I also advise a lot of you to actually go on a solo trip whenever you can, wherever you can, uh, even if it means for a day. I think it's very important for you to take some time off uh, all your daily routines and all your usual people. I think it's it's okay to just sometimes, you know, stir away and go to a place and know yourself better. I also discovered a few things about myself, uh, things about myself that I wouldn't have known if I'd been with a company. It's so important for you to find yourself first. So that's what I did. I, if not totally, fully, I think found like a few things and learned a lot of things about myself. I just need to understand how whole we are by ourselves. We complete ourselves and the only person who can make you happy is you. So barring the safety side, barring all the uh, things that you have to be cautious about, I think uh, it's also a very fun thing to do. So keep traveling guys. If you still have any more questions about particularly about something, then you can definitely comment down below. I will definitely answer you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you will be notified as and when I put a new video. Hit the bell button, like, share, comment down below whatever you feel like. That's it then. See you this Saturday. Bye bye.